Comrades, I send my greetings to the widows of Marigana who must today know that the sacrifices made by their husbands, sons and brothers of the 16th of August 2012 were not in vain. We are standing here, turning 10 years old, in front of the country, the continent and the world because of those brave mine workers who defied the greed and the violence of capitalism and the state. While Cuba guided the idea of our organization, Marigana gave birth to this revolutionary movement. Fellow fighters and soldiers of the revolution, we have arrived where the doomsayers never thought we would. They said we will never achieve 1% of the vote. They said our organization was formed out of anger and will never last. They said EFF will stand for if it a failure, if it a yakai. EFF is a fitting, EFF is a litting, EFF is a tovating, Barata, Barati, Banababa Loi, by Shebi, Leboba Benteng, all of them, they are witnessing history today. Baba Mweba, the journalist, the man never wadile off, Kibabone, Ba Mata Mata Mo, Bar EFF is a fitting today i look at them walking inside the stadium what a walk of shame you disappointed them you proved them wrong you made sure that they swallow a bitter pin babu zen fighters ba pinam tanje because the eff is turning 10 years we cannot hear their voices Deputy President, one of the journalists said on TV this morning, even before the rally started, are the only party that has filled up FNB is the ANC. EFF has short fall of filling up the FNB. EFF is the only party that has failed that will fill FNB beyond its capacity to remember the day the FNB was full to capacity when we were bearing Krisani. That was the only time the FNB was like this. Where are they today? Because the baby that was born working 20, in 2013 is now 10 years old. We are a generation that our ancestors have been waiting for. We are a generation that has inherited the struggle of our liberators. We have, the, we have left those that produce us smiling in heaven. When they look at us, they are smiling all over in heaven, saying, Banabarena, they are making us proud. Comrade Floyd, I think Comrade Cindy Somagaga, wherever he is in heaven, joined by Winnie Mandela, they are standing in salutation that the younger generation of the struggle has made them very proud. Mama Winnie's spirit lives on all of us here. We are the children of Winnie Madikizela Mandela, the most fearless woman, a woman who's always proud of young people who are ready to fight. Comrades, we made it even when those who wrote lies about us and they tried to destroy us and said all manner of things, we are still here today. Krisani, wherever he is, He's very proud of you. Steve Pico, wherever he is, he's very proud of you. Robert Subukwe, wherever he is, he's very proud of you. Anthony Limbede is very proud.
proud of you. AP Mda is very proud of you. Mkolis Machombozi is very proud of you that you have taken your rightful place in the struggle to retain the land to the rightful owners. Comrade Floyd, gathered here, you brought more than 90,000 ground forces from all over South Africa, with majority of them coming from Houghton province. Comrades, there were people who answered to the call of saying what needs to be done. That's why we are here. That clarion call was made after the cries of our people in Marigana when they said, Malema, form a party. I went to Marigana to show my solidarity, to show my support. The deputy president arrived a day before. General Olomisa was there a day before. When I went to listen to the workers, they did not tell me their problems. They said to me, form a political party who will follow you because the ANC will never correct itself. The ANC killed our people in Marigana in defense of capital in Kahoots with capital. When those workers said we must form a party, we went to Sibuke, we went to Sasolbeck, we went all over South Africa, and we went to Shaft 17, and ultimately we went to Uncle Tom's Hall, where we answered the question, what is to be done? That's when we took a decision to form an organization that is called the EFF today. And that organization was inspired by the fearlessness of the workers who died in Marigana demanding 12,500 from a mining cartel that made billions of the wealth in their land. Fighters, when we gathered in Uncle Tom's Hall, to form this organization. Fighters came from all over South Africa, from Cape Town to Musina. There was no food in that conference. There was no place in the, to sleep in that conference. We had to put together some logistics. We didn't even have money to pay for a hall. But those fighters who came, came for a mission. They were very patient. They never fought the leadership. They knew that this is the beginning of a journey, and that journey will produce a giant, and that giant will represent our people. It was the brave and defiant youth of South Africa, the black conscious, the Marxist, the Leninist, the children of Peter Mugaba, Steve Biko, and Charlotte Mateke, who asked what is to be done as the former liberation movement has betrayed the struggle for the land and the economy that our ancestors fought and died for. Comrades, those people said to us, let's go out there. Let's expropriate land without compensation. Let us nationalize mines. Let us nationalize banks. Let us nationalize other strategic sectors of the economy. They said, Free quality education is the future. Healthcare is the future. We need proper houses. We need sanitation. They said we need jobs, and those jobs must be sustainable, and those jobs must be protected. They said we must grow the African economy, and we must advocate for justice in the entire continent, and not just reconciliation. They said they want open, accountable, corrupt, free government that will not be characterized by intimidation. To date of the 26th July, when this decision was taken, was not a mere date, but a deliberate choice to coincide with the anniversary of the socialist Cuban 26th July movement, led by Fidel Castro and Che Guevara, amongst others. This movement 
like the EFF inaugurated a socialist revolution over a corrupt liberation movement in Cuba led by the authoritarian U.S. imperialist puppet Batista. Comrades, the EFF, like the Cuban revolutionaries, will also replace a corrupt government here in South Africa. This organization was formed on the blood, sweat, and tears of our people. It was formed on their donations, their sacrifice, and their commitment. It was born out of difficulty. It has survived because our people believe in economic freedom in our lifetime. Comrades, the EFF is therefore an answer to all difficult questions. When we went into parliament, many people said, ah, they are just making noise, they will not achieve anything. We went into parliament to represent the gardeners, to represent the domestic workers, to represent the farm workers, to represent the petrol attendants, to represent the unemployed youth of South Africa, to represent the orphans, to represent the abuse, to represent the neglected masses of our people. We went into parliament to represent Mgineni Mambush Noki, who was killed by Cyril Ramaphosa and Marikana Kopi. We said to Mambush, we will never rest until you get your justice. That's why when we arrived in parliament, we said Marikana is a crime scene and those people were killed in Marikana, they were killed by the ANC. When the ANC said, you can't say that, we went to court and the court said, you can say that for free. So we are saying it here today, the ANC is an organization of murderers, is the one that killed, that killed Tembingo Sigualeni, Patrick Akona Jijase, Andris Nseñeho, Bonginko Siona, Baba Alom Chalim, Jackson Lehupa, Mafolo Simabia, Henry Mvuisi Pato, Ntandazo, Nokamba. Those are the people that the ANC killed in Marigana because they did not want to give them what was due to them. Fighters, this organization fought for students to be admitted in institutions of higher learning when it was not fashionable to do so. We always kicked the doors and opened doors for our children and made sure that indeed those people continue to learn. That's why in the EFF we can do an essay competition and give winners each 40,000 and poetry competition and give a winner 50,000. Why? Education is fashionable in the EFF. We want an educated nation. Comrades, when it was not fashionable during COVID, it was the EFF that gave artists money because the industry of artists was closed. We paid all those artists who used to perform at the EFF events. We said to them, you will not die as long as the EFF is still alive. It is the EFF DP that donated 15 million to COVID-19 Solidarity Fund to make sure that we support the poor of the poorest. Comrades, we can never say everything was smooth. Not everything was smooth. There were staff riders who wanted to hijack our organization, but because the EFF is like a sea, it cleans itself all the time when the rejects want to hijack it. That's why if you go to the exhibition of the EFF, 
We did not delete the staff riders. They are still there. You will see them in the pictures of the EFF. Just mark them. This one is a staff rider. That's why they are no longer with us. But those staff riders thought they will kill our organization. Till today, our organization is still standing firmly because our organization does not depend on individuals. It depends on its ideology and its founding manifesto. Till today, no leader of the EFF is investigated for VBS. No leader of the EFF is arrested for VBS. No leader of the EFF is in court because of the VBS. They wanted to use the VBS to destroy the EFF. Once more, they failed. Comrades, they wanted to cause the fight in the EFF. They never won. They will never win. Why? We want the land. We are not here for any other Mickey Mouse arrangement. We want the land, and that land must be taken from the white minority rule and be given to all the people of South Africa, and that land shall be returned into the hands of the rightful owners. Comrades, we want jobs. And we don't want jobs that are a bribery which is given in a stadium. Banyazali Sufi took people to Orlando Stadium a day before yesterday thinking that he can contest us. It's a bribery so that you can vote for the ANC. We don't want a bribery. We want the land. We want jobs. And we want them man, Jay. We want them now. And it must be quality jobs. Comrades, we are going to industrialize. We are going to take land for industrialization. We are going to take land for proper settlement. We are going to take land for agriculture. We are going to take land for you, the unemployed, to create jobs for yourself because you must not be employees. You must be your own bosses. We want you to be your own bosses. There is corruption everywhere. That's why in the police, the generals are corrupt. How can a president steal money and put money of foreign currency in a mattress, in a sofa, and even sleep on top of money when that person is reported to the police? He is not arrested. Why? It's because police are rotten to the core. It's because police are corrupt. We need to fight corruption fighters because without succeeding in the fight against corruption, we will never achieve anything. Corruption is what made you unemployed. Corruption steals money that must buy medicine for HIV and AIDS. Corruption steals money that must go and give children feeding scheme. Corruption is the one that creates potholes because the roads are not quality as a result of corruption that is in government. Let's tell you, Ramaphosa is not above the law. Ramaphosa must go to jail whether they like it or not. Comrades, in the EFF, we support the LGBTQ plus community. There is no EFF that hates gays and lesbians and transgender and how people want to define themselves. Professor Lumumba's ideas are his own ideas. We don't agree with him. He's our brother. We can disagree with him in a respectful manner. But these clowns that go around saying they support 
the LGBTQ plus community. Yet they support Ramaphosa, who hosted Museveni. Museveni who signed a law that is not progressive. Those people are pretentious. They must not be supported or even be listened to. Comrades, there is too much crime in South Africa. Because of corruption, we must arrest criminals, ground forces. Let's go and claim the streets from criminals. We cannot allow the criminals to take South Africa for themselves. We cannot allow the drug lords to take over South Africa. We cannot allow the Nyaupis to take over South Africa. You, the fighters of the revolution, go and claim the streets against criminals. When we take over this Gauteng next year, all those people who are hired by Panyaza, Bargiri Panya Panya, who are going to expel all of them because they were not properly hired. They are hired because they are members of the ANC. They are hired because they are campaigners of the ANC. Tell them your time is over. When you meet them in those oversized overalls, you must whisper in their ears, Upelile Baba, ears are EFF next year. Comrades, we want the people who have high walls to drop their high walls to stay in peace and enjoy their beautiful gardens without being scared or being attacked by criminals. Our country cannot be a country of criminals. Beggy Kele has failed as a minister of police. Beggy Kele must step down with immediate effect because he has failed as a minister of police. Comrades, we are going to make sure that each and every police station has got police who are trained to deal with victims of rape and sexual abuse. We want police who will treat victims of rape with respect and we want police stations that will have private rooms for victims of rape and sexual abuse where confidentiality will be treated as a priority not to humiliate the victims of rape in front of other people they must be treated with respect because they are traumatized already. Comrades, we want free education and we want a decolonized education and we want it now. We want our children to go to Vets University free of charge. We want our children to go to UCT free of charge. We want our children to go to Turkey's free of charge. When we take over as the EFF, all of you who are unemployed and you don't have your results because you are owing the fees at school, you must know the day when we arrive in office, we are going to cancel all the debt and give your results free of charge. Why? We don't want your money. We want your brain. Once your mind says, this child is bright, you have earned a seat in a university, it doesn't matter whether you have money or not. We want a child from a shack to go to the best of the best university because he's got the best brain and that brain must be protected. Comrades, we are going to work with Cuba to establish a quality primary health care. We are going to make sure 
that in South Africa there are proper clinics and those clinics have got the best equipment inside and doctors visit people at home, not people visiting doctors at the clinic. The doctors of the government will do door to door to check your BP, to check your sugar level, to check your health, because that's what primary health care is about. The Cubans, we love them because they don't send soldiers in the world. They send life to the world by sending doctors to go and heal the sick in the world. Comrades, when we take over all the informal settlement in Ikuruleni Tunga shall be formalized and once we formalize them, we will give them water, we will give them electricity, we will build proper houses for our people all over Kauteng and all over South Africa. Comrades, Haman's Kral must get clean water. The, every area in South Africa, in Guyane, in Ditsobota, in Northwest, in the Eastern Cape, our people must get piped clean water. Without clean water, there is no life because water is life. When you give people water, you are not doing them favor. You are giving them life. We need water. We need sanitation now. Comrades, we must make sure that we do proper sanitation and we give our people flushing toilet. To have a flushing toilet is not a status, it's a basic human right. If you are a human being, how fatal will So we'll restore the dignity of our people. Traditional leaders, be rest assured, our leaders who are here, the kings and queens, you are not lost, you are in the right place. You must ask the queen mother of Babedi, you must ask King Dalinjebo, those are the friends of the EFF, they know the beauty of associating with the EFF, they know that EFF takes care of traditional leaders. We want all traditional leaders to be treated the same as the king of the Zulus. King Dalin Jebo must be treated the same as the king of the Zulus. We want the queen mother of Babedi to be treated the same as the king of the Zulus. We want the Bavenda king and all the kings in the Eastern Cape to be treated the same as the Zulu king. There is nothing wrong with what the Zulu king get. We are not saying take from the Zulu king. Continue supporting the Zulu king, but support all of them the same. They've made us fools. They gave us stage six and stage eight. We were living in darkness. The jobs were threatened. The electricity undermined the quality of life in South Africa. From there, from stage eight, they dropped us to stage three. When they put us on stage three, we behave like stage three is acceptable. That's mediocrity. We don't want load shedding in South Africa. We want a reliable electricity in South Africa. We want electricity that will be supplied to hospitals uninterrupted, to schools uninterrupted, to business uninterrupted. Only the EFF can protect the provision of electricity. Why? We are not opposed to just transition, but we are not going to close our coal power stations until just transition produce equivalent megawatts 
to the same power station you want us to close. We are not going to sell our coal to anyone. If you say we can't use coal, why do you take it and use it in your countries? No one must take coal from South Africa if they can't allow us to use coal. Comrades, we are in crisis. South Africa is in financial crisis and therefore only an organization like the EFF can rescue this country. Comrade Deputy President, I want to thank and congratulate the Student Command. They are doing a brilliant work. They take university after university. They lead from the front. The President of the Student Command is with us here. He has been leading Siso Funda Gengkani, Bayatanda Batandi, EFF, Student Command has always provided life to the students in the university. I want to say to the Student Command, please remain radical, remain militant and uncompromising despite the temptations that arise around you. Don't compromise students, do not sleep with the management, do not eat a bribe, always support the crisis and the demands of the students. Student command, please, you must not only do student politics, you must also pass. You are at the university because you are going to school. I don't want you to become permanent residents at the universities. Go in, study, and create another space for another African child. We don't want student command leaders who don't pass. Comrades, the people of the world, please be aware EFF is your friend if you are part of the progressive forces of the world. Today we've got ambassadors here who have joined our celebrations. Yesterday we had a dinner with them when we told them without being ashamed that we are with the people of Palestine, we are with the people of Eswatini, we are with the people of Sahrawi, and we are not with Morocco, we are not with Israel, we are not with NATO, we are not with USA, because those are enemies of progress. Comrades, we want to make a call in Kenya, especially to Comrade Raila Odinga, stop doing what you are doing. Do not disrupt Kenya. We need peace in Kenya. The President William Ruto was democratically elected in Kenya. I will not allow you to use the people of Kenya to destabilize the peace of Kenya. We say to President Munangagwa, stop disrupting the peace of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is going to election. Allow the Zimbabweans to make their choice in a democratic manner without any form of intimidation. Comrades, we want peace in Ethiopia. We want peace in the DRC. Comrades, we want to make sure that BRICS is strengthened and BRICS is an alternative to Europe and America. We are with President Putin, and we want to say to President Putin, it is not us South Africans who refused you from coming into the country. It is Ramaphosa, the coward Ramaphosa, who could not guarantee that we will not arrest Putin. We are Putin, and Putin is us, and we will never support imperialism against President Putin. Comrades, America is threatening us with African Growth and Opportunity Act that if we don't arrest Putin, they are going to take away Agoa. 
they can take away our Kowa and leave us with our sovereignty and leave us with our foreign policy. We must have the capacity to take a decision of our own. We call on the President of the People's Republic of China, India and Brazil not to come to BRICS summit in solidarity with President Putin. They must say, you touch one of us, you touch all of us. Comrades, we need to be loyal to the discipline of our organization. Comrades, we must refuse to be part of the Commonwealth. There is nothing common about the Commonwealth except that we are all colonized by Britain. As a revolutionary party that is going to take over South Africa next year, we are going to leave the Commonwealth. We will not be dictated by IMF, will not be dictated by the World Bank, will be dictated to by the people of South Africa. We want to say to Commandant Fidel Castro that we stand with the Cubans and they remain an anchor of our struggle for socialism across the world. We need peace and to silence the guns in Mali, in Burkina Faso, in, in Sudan. We need to openly, as a glorious movement, say that another African must never enjoy seeing a blood of another African. What is happening in Eastern DRC is highly unacceptable, where more than 12,000 people are killed and the world is not saying anything. We need peace in the Eastern DRC. Comrades, we don't have to fight over expanding territories into Mozambique, into Central African Republic, into Congo Brazzaville, into Zambia, including infiltrating Benin, because Africa is one. Why do you want to extend your territory as a country? For what? Because we want one Africa with one currency, with one military, with one judiciary, with one president of the United Republic of Africa. We need Africa to be bigger in order to fight all of these people. African on African violence must stop and must stop now. Dictators who are scared of democracy, please stop your nonsense now. Stop killing fellow Africans. South Africa and Africa, let's resolve everything peacefully. Fellow fighters and revolutionaries, we want to thank all of those who have supported this glorious movement since its inception and appreciate those who joined us after they saw that the EFF is the future. The door is not closed. Anyone who wants to join the EFF, you are more than welcome. This is your home. This is the home of all South Africans. Comrades, I want to thank all those who donated 100 cows, those who donated groceries, those who donated buses and transport, those who bought tables at the gala dinner, those who donated through SMSs and online donation, financing the revolution must continue beyond the 10th anniversary towards 2024. Let us continue to support this glorious movement of ours by any means necessary and show the devil that we will never stop no matter what they say about us. We will never accept criticism from those who are determined to distort. We will never accept direction from those who want to tell us who our enemies are and who our friends are. Fighters, we know our enemies, we know our own friends. Our loyalty to our people will account for all of this. Comrades, fellow fighters, I invite you to join me 
as we march into the future full of hope. I need sunglasses because the future looks bright. We are taking government in 2024. The EFF is going to be government. And when the EFF is in government, we are going to defeat poverty. We are going to defeat inequality. We are going to defeat unemployment. We are going to defeat crime. We are going to create quality houses. We are going to create clinics and hospitals. We are going to give you free education. We are going to fight corruption and lock up all councillors of the ANC who are giving people jobs in exchange for sex because that's what they are doing in those municipalities. Fighters, me and you are going to defeat load shedding. Only the EFF can stop load shedding in South Africa. Let us go, fighters, forward towards the liberation of the masses of our people. Let us not get tired. Let us not retreat. Victory is certain. Once you guys get tired, once you guys become lazy, once you become reluctant to fight, you must know the enemy has won. I will never get tired. No one can make me tired. I march forward to the victory of our people. The revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. Stand up, South Africa. Make sure that, South Africa, you are counted with me. Run, South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that they need to be counted. You must be counted. You must be part of history. You must make sure that you are one of the people who are going to deliver economic freedom in our lifetime. Freedom in our lifetime. Amanda! I'm a king. Yes, I'm a king. Go what? Think. I'm a king. Go.